I don't understand. It does. I could, uh, I could, no, you could, yeah. you could write 10 pages in one day, you can only draw one if you're lucky. Yeah. There you go. And uh, for me, like ever since I was a kid, I was always kind of making up stories. Um, started with uh, role playing feds online. I don't know if you guys people know what that is, but uh, went from there and making up, thinking I know how to write screenplays when I was in high school, and then uh, just writing and writing and writing until, uh, I mean, everything fascinated me from comic books to movies to books to anything that was a fictional story being told. And um, so it was just in Ulysses and comic books, so it became a natural progression to step into that. So, uh, So for me, uh, I was, um, yeah, I don't remember a time when there weren't comic books around in my life. It was like, I had an older brother and an uncle who was only about 10 years older than me living next door. So it's a, you know, I, I came out of the room with comic books and, uh, you know, just throughout the 60s was a fan and, and in the early 70s became uh, a super fan, uh, publishing fanzines with uh, Paul Levitz, who later became the publisher and president of DC Comics and a writer himself, and um, you know, I got into comics in the mid-70s, and I've been doing it, you know, that there was never anything I wanted to do other than be a writer, and comic books were, were that, yeah, you know, that thing, especially in 1960, you know, before the big budget pictures, you know, state of the art in those days was, you know, the Superman TV show. Um, but even with that, you know, the characters hooked me, and, it, you know, I just spent the rest of my life yeah, but trying to get in, and, and once I got there, trying to stay in. So, come on, help me out, guys. Yeah. Uh, talk about writing. What, what, uh, what 